Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're gonna get rid of some terrible odors coming out of a shower drain. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So here's the shower, and it's pretty easy to tell on the surface there's hair stuck in this, in this drain here. So that certainly is gonna be uh, part of the problem. But the other part of the problem is that there's just a film of sludge on the inside of that drain pipe. So first thing I'm gonna do is unscrew these two screws, and it looks like that, uh, that's gross. There's like mold and grout uh, holding that, uh, that plate in, so I may have to chip that out. So this drain really doesn't start smelling until after the water, wow, you should see this, uh, until after the water starts running. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get a good shot of this until I get the screen off, the, the shower cover off, but looks like there's a, just a ball of hair down there, and that's not surprising. If it's, if it's up here, it's probably just dragging down into the water. But uh, I'm gonna get rid of these screws, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Okay, screws are out. I'm going to try to lift this out, but of course, yeah, it's got, this is all grouted in, so I'm going to have to chip this out. Oh, or no, oh, yeah, here we go. Look at this. Hello. Yeah, surprisingly, it's not a terrible smell, but I'm going to put this in my favorite little bag there. That certainly is part of the problem. And you can see the hair and soap and God only knows what other biological substances are in there. But I'm gonna, yeah, there's the smell now. Wow, too bad there's not smell vision You would not enjoy this. I'm gonna get uh, cut this hair off of that so I can reuse it at the end here. And then I'll be right back. All right, well, I had to take that nasty ball of hair outside because it was, it was terrible. Uh, the other part of the problem is, take a look into the drain here, and it's the interior diameter of this whole area here, the basket down to, you can see the, the white foamy stuff uh, down there, but it's really sludgy there around, uh, around this whole area. So I want to clean that, and I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to use a paint roller to get in there and kind of clean it with, you know, whatever. I, I think I'll probably use, uh, vinegar and baking soda, but you can use whatever you want. So I've got the industrial bag of baking soda and I've got a little bit of uh, vinegar left in this bottle. Uh, I think generally the ratio is four tablespoons of baking soda and to two cups of vinegar, but I uh, am not good at baking cake, so I just found this scoop. I'm gonna start off with, oh, I don't know, almost a, Almost a full one, and then I'm going to put some, pull it up with a little bit, let it foam up a little bit, and then I'm going to do the same thing in my bucket right there, and then I'm going to put my fantastic paint roller. Now, uh, this is like a $9 paint roller because it's a three-quarter inch, but you can get them cheaper. This is just what I had out in my garage. So I'm going to mix up the same thing in that bucket. I'm going to soak this thing in it, and then I'm going to let it get all nice and goopy. So I cleaned up my mess and just uh, kind of wiped up everything that had bubbled out, and look how nice and clean the uh, that flange came out. Anyway, hopefully a sign of things to come. All right, I got my bucket ready. I've got my uh, three-quarter inch roller ready, and you know, so the plan is I'm going to I'm going to dump some baking soda in there, the same amount. And I'm going to put the vinegar in, and of course it's going to bubble up. And then I'm going to soak this roller with that mixture, and then I'm going to jam it down the drain uh, far enough where I can still retrieve it. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So and I'll, I'll line the camera, and then we'll get going. All right, I've got the uh, baking soda in there. Here comes the vinegar. Mmm, looks like beer. So that's doing its thing. I'm gonna soak this as much as I can, and I'm gonna get it down in there and get it nice and filthy, and then do it again and again and again. So 
this will get down into that drain line because this diameter is about the same as that. It's not hard to do. I'm just going to turn it a little bit. And I guess the nicer thing about this being so thick is that it's going to have more friction against the interior of that pipe. Yeah, hello. I think I may end up dumping this uh, wonderful stew looking substance out and then redoing, cleaning off this thing and redoing it again. Yeah, that is nasty. And already the drain looks, uh, looks much cleaner. Let me see if I can get a zoom on that. Let's do that again. Always got to wear gloves doing this. Drains are absolutely filthy. I read somewhere where plumbers have the highest incidence of hepatitis of any occupation, and that stands to reason. And when you pull it out, don't pull it out so fast where you give yourself a hepatitis shower. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go to clean this off and redo the solution. All right, I'm back. I got a clean bucket. I cleaned out my little roller. I got some baking soda and I put a little more. Vinegar to join the party. Well, you should have seen I got rid of unbelievable it seriously look like stew. Okay, so you know I've been down into the drain as far as I can go, and I'm, I think that's pretty decently clean, or at least as clean as it's going to get, because this pushes a lot of uh, force in there. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, get this down. So now I want to get around the inside of, of this area, because that's got some nasties too. So I'm just pushing up and down along the inside of that, swirling around. And you can do this as often as you want, I mean maybe every couple of months, maybe, uh, and when you do it, you know, you may do this two, three times, maybe half a dozen times, I don't know, it depends how bad your drain is. And finally I've got a scuff pad that I'm going to use to get the underside of this. Stuff. Anyway, as far as the liquid, uh, I don't think it's as important as what liquid you use as uh, just cleaning the sludge off of the pipe. That's what the nastiness is. So, I mean, you could, if you didn't have vinegar and baking soda, you could use whatever cleaner you had on hand. And once you put the cover on, you're done. Well, I hope that video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested in our franchise opportunity, I'll leave a link for that in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.